Your quest will begin and end in a town called Narsh. We'll be your hero. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna choose Cloud again. Since he's one of the easier characters to play through. Terra and the uh, Knight are the harder characters. I'm gonna talk to this old geezer. Okay. So after hitting him twice, not getting a single hit, he believes that I'm able to succeed in some quests. Narsh was once a place of activity, but one by one its inhabitants disappeared. Narsh is now the third town you see before you. I sense the presence of e an evil program and a monster deep within the mines. Press O to open the hidden switch at the cave entrance and seek out this monster. Only when you vanquish it will the people of Narsh return. Go forth and complete the task I've given to you. And this is the start of the game. So straight right off the bat, I'm going to face a boss. This guy's an optional boss, and he's from Mario RPG. A whole game I hold very deeply. Now, in this game, there's not a lot of strategical elements. There's only one boss that you'll have a hard time beating, I guarantee it. So the only way to actually beat this game is to get through with it. Because you can only heal by leveling up, and you can only level up twice. So it's a very rudimentary video game, and I've explored all the possibilities. Okay, now there's a long series of slowly intervaled animations with this little plumber you see here. So let's see, overrated 4th generation franchise game versus overrated 5th generation franchise game. That being Super Mario RPG and Final Fantasy VII. Now I gotta level up desperately, otherwise I'll surely be screwed in the next part. Okay, now I leveled up. So I gotta step over here and press O. And this big ass hole opens as if the mine is gay and it's opening up his anus for a cloud. So the cloud can get in with his big ass sword. These things die in one hit without cloud getting hurt during level three, I believe. They're very slow, but they're stronger than the other generic opponent. There are only two ones, really. At least I think so. Maybe there could be a third one, that, but that's about it. This game is very rudimentary. The designer was rushing this and he was very lazy. But all in all, it's a very good test of decision making skills. Which is all RPGs really need. Not even skill, just precognitive strategies.